Okay, I got a little bit confused with Rogue Trooper, but I think I got the right blue guy game this time. The graphics are just as good as the movie. It's like I'm really there in the theater. I'm Officer Midori. Hey, that's Ashley from Mass Effect 1. Now, which one of you is Ryder? Oh no, my character is Ryder from Mass Effect Andromeda. That's not good. What's my first task, Ashley? Oh my god, that frame rate. I'm playing this on a PlayStation 3. All right, Doctor, I'm ready to be turned into a blue guy. The blue guy was on the cover of the game. I want blue guy gameplay, dang it. Oh my god, look how big my feet are. Do the blue guys have that big feet? feet in the movie? I never watched the movie. Oh my god. I suddenly became very interested in Avatar. Oh, what? Come on. They turned me back into Sarah Ryder. I don't want to be Sarah Ryder. Oh, I got the gun. Here we go. How do I shoot? How do I shoot? That's a roll button from Dark Souls. Okay, how do I shoot the gun? There we go. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I already like this game. The assault rifle feels very powerful. I'm gonna kill so many blue guys with this thing. Yeah, I mean, the gun's okay, but the game would be better if it had a dedicated motion blur button, I think. Whoa! This is the true 7th gen experience right here. You may not like it, but this is what peak graphics looks like. These green army guys can't even fight a dog. How are we gonna fight blue guys if we can't kill the wolf? All you gotta do is aim the gun and give him one of these. It's, it's really simple. The action is very fluid. It's like I'm really there on Pandora. Oh boy, the game handled light combat really well, so the buggy section will be flawless. Die, giraffe. Can I run him over? Oh, I heard him. Hang on. How do I get out of the car? I want to kill this guy. You're so dead, dude. You're so dead. Oh my god, two hits, and he melts away? I'm driving around an open world fighting skags on Pandora getting XP. Is this just a Borderlands game? Is this just an open world XP based third person shooter? That's my jam. I like those kind of games. I thought this game was going to be real bad. This game's kind of good. And you thought the car gameplay was good. Say hello to the boat gameplay. This was actually added to the game as a sneak preview of Avatar 2 The Way of the Water. Hello, Mr. Pylon. Need some help with your sci fi pylon? That was a trick question. Sci fi man always needs needs pylon help. I think it's finally time for me to become a blue guy. Oh my god, the blue guy is so much faster. The blue guy still gets the good guns, and you're just way faster. And whoa! And you have an awesome jump spin kick. Time to mount the majestic creature. Oh god, it's like a Skyrim horse. Are there any mountains to climb in this game? I want to take this bad boy to High Hrothgar. Oh no, I killed my horse. I'm sorry, horse. The game has an auto aim. I didn't mean to. It just got in the way of the combat. Just like a real Skyrim horse. Thank God, a new horsey. Hello, horsey. Your name will be Horsey 2. Don't, don't ask about Horsey 1. Yeah, that's where the Navi used to live before you stepped in. I did not do any of that. All I've done since I've got here is shoot a few wolves and one horse. I did not blow up the Navi village. You cannot make me feel bad about that. Ryder, I order you to shoot Harper. Uh-oh, what am I gonna do? Shoot the troops or shoot the blue guy? Shoot the blue guy. Sorry, Navi. I want the shotgun back. I can't believe our helicopter crashed, apparently. That usually never happens in video games on PS3. Ugh, it feels like I was just a blue guy and got shot. Good thing I'm back to being a human now somehow. Are these enemy? Oh my god, they're enemy flowers. The flowers hate me now. The whole planet is rebelling against the green guys. Only the blue guys are in tune with nature. All right, flower, time to die. Eat my flamethrower. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh god, more flowers. Good thing I have blue mode. Blue mode, odd line. Feel the power of my blue mood. What does it do? I have no idea. Ooh, baby. I get to fly the pelican. Here we go. Oh, you birds are so screwed now. Come here, bird. You thought you were a cool guy with a big health bar? I don't think so. Get him. Get him. Come on. This thing sucks worse than my pistol. What the heck? No wonder the blue guys on the birds beat the humans. Their ship is terrible. This is very ambitious graphics for PS3. They were trying to match a major blockbuster movie they had no chance to do, but honestly, the floating land looks pretty good. It doesn't look terrible. It's always more fun when movie tie-in games actually like try to do stuff instead of being cheap cash grabs. I'm impressed so far. Time to take the battle to the blue guys on the ground. Oh my God, he's got a stick. What the? That's a huge knockback. Nobody told me the blue guys had a Fusro Da move. Maybe I should have joined the blue guys. Maybe humans were the real monsters the whole time. Nah, there's no way. There's no way that's a storyline. Oh God, that can happen? Your car can just get flipped? Can I halo the car? Come on, get haloed. There we go. That's Master Chief's greatest contribution to gaming is being able to flip your car back over. Oh my God, these plants are crazy. Let me stand up. Am I gonna be stun locked by a flower? You gotta be kidding me. I just got stunlocked to death by a flower. I hate Pandora. I'm never watching Avatar. This planet sucks. Hello, blue guys. Eat my missile battery. Oh, yeah. Exterminate blue guys with extreme prejudice. The most prejudice you've ever seen. Oh, my God, the mech. I see the mech suit. Give me the mech. This car sucks. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You're dead now, aliens. Oh, baby. It's just... It's just so beautiful. I just hate nature so much. All right, come here, you stupid plant. Try to stunlock the mech. See what happens. And he still did. Oh, why does this keep happening? Get out, 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 get out. Oh my God. 
Oh, I didn't die immediately. That's good. They gotta stop making narrow tree branch paths. We need Operation Wider Highways on Pandora. We're playing as America in this game. Widening highways is in our DNA. New objective, kill Beidamo. Where is Beidamo? Take this legendary warrior, Beidamo. There we go. You can't talk me into thinking humans are the bad guys. I'm adding another lane to your highway whether you like it or not. Let the record show this game took two and a half hours before I got to the defend the gate part. Not bad for a 7th gen third person shooter tie-in game. But don't you worry, gamers. We got some much better gameplay coming right up. That's right. Now it's time for the turret section. This is too ambitious for the engine to handle. I can't take it. There's too much going on. My PS3 sounds like a jet turbine right now. Welcome to the Ho Hum. The developers did not have a good time making this area, I guess. They were like, oh, great. Another forest zone. I can't wait to work on this for five weeks of my life. It's okay, Avatar the game developer. I appreciate you. Your game is pretty cool. I mean, it's no Ratatouille the movie the game, but it's all right. Kill Tan Jala. You got it, game. No problem. Jala's supposed to be red and yellow anyway. He's not supposed to be tan. Pookie is the tan one. I will not tolerate any deviations from Bionicle Cannon. Hello and welcome to Ken the Car Drive Across the Tree Branch. Here we go. Oh boy. Not a good start. Not the best start. Okay. Oh, it's tilting. Stay on the thing. Oh, boy. All right, come on. Oh, this is narrow. This is real narrow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. No, no. Oh, it was so close. All right, torpedo plant. Die. Get out of here. Oh, my God. What a joke. There's an avatar wearing a t-shirt. That's a human guy. He betrayed humanity and became an avatar, but he still uses the machine gun. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure, buddy. Oh, I want to be one with the, the nature and the beauty of this planet. Yeah, whatever, bro. If you really wanted to be a Navi, you shouldn't have brought your machine gun with you. You don't truly believe in the cause. The lost caldera? I like the word caldera. Caldera is always a good word. My number one request for video games going forward is to use the word caldera much more frequently. Hey, man, do your eyes hurt looking at this computer screen all day? Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of bright, and the fact that I can see through it doesn't really help. It makes no sense. I do have two Thrustmaster joysticks here, though, so that's kind of fun to, like, play Ace Combat or Mech Warrior when I'm bored. I guess there are some perks to working for the evil corporation. The computers are pretty nice. The chairs do not look comfortable, though. Those chairs look terrible. I'm glad I'm out there shooting blue guys instead of sitting behind a desk all day. I played that game. It was called Papers, Please. It, it was pretty good, but it was kind of boring. I wanted to shoot the bad guy, but you can't exactly shoot an evil bureaucracy. I have an important question for you, Ryder. Who's your favorite Smash Bros. Melee character? It's Thal in the future, bunny hopping robots are the most efficient form of transportation. Unless the gate doesn't open for them, then it doesn't work. You make Swata go Tata, and I bet the rest of them will leave us alone. Join us and stop RDA. Swata has offered you a chance to choose your side in the final battle. I want to choose the human side, obviously. I'm the bad guy, bro. I'll shoot you with a gun. Yeah, <laughs> kill him. <laughs> the second you choose humans, he just starts blasting. Swalta's my favorite character. I like this guy. Swalta. Put your gun away, Swalta. I'm not joining the Navi at the last second, Swalta. Look at this thing. Can I drive this thing? Triangle. Oh my god. I'm unstoppable. Except for a small rock will probably stop me when I bump into it, right? Oh no, it blew up. I am unstoppable. Nothing can stop me except for invisible walls I can't pass. Those, those still work. But for the most part, I can fly wherever I please. Finally, a good game that knows at the end of the game you're supposed to have a cool warthog run. It's not a warthog, it's a cool flying spaceship instead, but it's still pretty good. All right, forward squad, I'm here to help. Oh my god. What kind of a landing was that? I almost ran over myself with the shield helicarrier. Uh, defend for three minutes. It's the most boring type of objective. This is only the second uh, wave-based like time survival they've had, though. I gotta give them credit for only using this crappy objective twice in the whole game. Falco, stop! Why should I stop? I think I'll be fine. <laughs> Are you the final boss blue guy? Yeah, you're the final boss. Dude, it's like a blue guy, but it's a human blue guy, because it's a human wearing a blue shirt. So it's like the human blue guys where the bad guys, ow, where the bad guys the whole time or something like that. Are you dead yet? Are are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? He's dead. Let me see. If I hit this button on the staff, I do believe the blue guy's bird should get blown up. Let's see if it works. The birds kicked the blue guys off. They said, stop riding us, blue guys. Get out of here. I'm not really sure how that, like, sci-fi gun stuck into the ground did that, but I guess it did. Man, I should have watched the Avatar movie. I tried to play this game instead of watching the movie to learn the plot, but now I'm even more confused. Well, we did it. We gave the blue guys democracy. James Cameron's Avatar of the game for PS3. Pretty good game. Normally, it's like a 6 out of 10 game. Like, it's fine. It's kind of bad, but for a movie tie-in, it's incredible. It's like a 9 out of 10 movie tie-in game. And before you ask, no, I will not be playing the Blue Guy campaign. I don't care. I guarantee this planet is the most hostile world you've ever seen. No!